This movie starts showing such a community, where the inhabitants were polluting their own environment. As a result, many species were rooting out. Due to this reason, those species were going to be extinct. Now some aristocratic people of this society are seen at auction. This auction was on an island which was purchased for $20 million by a man named Lou. In this happiness, Lou invites the businessman to his house for a party, where a businessman appears as a superhero, putting on a jet pack. Lou greets everyone at his home, after a time, it is revealed to him that they are not their well-wishers. Those people say to Lou, the island on which he has made a deal, that the island has many dolphins so it is useless. They also expose that they have acted as such with the aim to harm Lou according to plan. Because no construction is possible on that island because of the existence of dolphins. Saying it, they begin to laugh because they were thinking that they have befooled Lou as he tells them that he has taken the permission letter to remove the dolphins from that place with the help of new technology. Hearing it, all businessmen are worried because their plan to harm Lou was spoiled. And the same businessman here who had reached here as a superhero, he leaves that place after insulting Lou. As he returns back then his rocket belt becomes out of order. And he has started to fly here and there like a mosquito. All people were disappointed now who were making fun at Lou in this party. Being carefree about people, Lou begins to enjoy his party. Then a businesswoman requests Lou to select her as a partner in his business. He accepts his request. They are celebrating their new business partnership. Their celebration by a girl, wearing odd makeup. It was her words that she wants to meet Lou. But his guards take her away but Lou comes to him as that girl makes a noise. And she gives Lou her contact number and says, contact if he ever wants to meet her. This was a very confusing situation and he asks her to go after taking her contact number. Afterwards, it is seen that the girl is going to his house on her skateboard. It is known later that the girl's name is Sean who had reached Lou's island, boarding a boat. Where it had known that Sean was a mermaid in the boat through which Sean had reached here. Many mermaids were entrapped in it. Because Lou had created some machines to keep dolphins away from his island. Which used to emit ultrasonic waves. Dolphins had left that place because of ultrasonic waves. Many mermaids had met their end while survivor mermaids were entrapped in this boat to rescue themselves. Mermaid's leader, Octopus, plans to kill Lou. Because his project's working will be stopped at death. In this way, sonars will be taken out from the water. And their dwelling will be regained by them. They are the closest most beautiful of their group Sean for the accomplishment of their mission. Who can kill after entrapping him? The scene moves to Lou who was with his new business partner. That girl was trying to show Lou down by saying he belongs to a mediocre family, while that girl belongs to the royal family. So they are unparalleled for each other. Hearing it Lou is enraged. And he contacts Sean for a massage, you will be picked up from here within two hours. Mermaids get ready with their weapons as they hear this message. Sean goes out getting ready and they come to know while opening the door that Lou's guards have come to pick her up, not Lou. They carry Sean to the office where she is told that their boss will soon meet her. Then she pours a drip of poison in a lemon water glass placed near her. But she is shocked, lifting her head. Because there was a security guard who said to Sean for security cautions, that she may take the lemon juice of one of the glasses, but the issue was this as Sean had forgotten which GSS had been poisoned by her. Now she takes a glass of lemon water glass in fear and takes it. Dot suddenly her facial expressions begin to change. But it is revealed after a few seconds. That she has a piece of a lemon in her mouth. Due to this, her face expression had altered. But there was poison in that glass which security guards were holding. The security guard loses his consciousness here. Sean gets up in frustration. And she rescues the security guard, pouring the alcoholic drink in the month of him. Meanwhile Sean notices Lou and she starts following him. So she may target his victim. Now she was going to attack Lou with a sea archer. Contra Riley, the clock is hit on her head in spite of hitting Lou. Dot which had been thrown in rage at a distance by Lou. In this way, she stumbled. After this Sean tries to kill Lou with a sea archer for the second time. But she does not notice that there is a front glass wall, so that the sea archer is struck on her head. But Sean does not accept her defeat. One more time, she attacks Lou with a sea archer behind the door. At this time, the sea archer is attached to her face because of the opening of the door. Now her own body was also becoming poisonous because of that sea archer. But she wanted to accomplish her mission at any cost. So he attacks Lou, hiding herself under the table. Lou begins to dance here, as a result, Sean's every attack is missed. Contrarily, Lou's foot comes on the hand of Sean. She begins to feel pain, as Sean is going to stab Lou's foot to get her hand free. Lou immediately lifts his foot. In this way, her own hand is wounded. Sean was fed up with it, and she was also feeling too angry. Then she attacks Lou, 
using her flying skills. Lu's golf stick hits her face and she loses her senses. Lu was very afraid, witnessing an unconscious girl behind him. But Lu was enraged within a time. So he pays a lot of money so she may leave him. But Sean says to Lu, L don't feel the need for your money at all. Hearing it, Lu is confused and he says to her that, Who are you? I never ever met you so are you after me? He is nearly to go from here, leaving Sean. Suddenly, he turns back, and he begins to treat Sean as she is his girlfriend. As that business partner comes after Lu then it is revealed that he is pretending to envy that girl. And Lu moves away, taking Sean. Now both are seen in the car. Where Sean feels appetite and she leads Lu to a street restaurant. First of all, Lu became enraged and he did not want to have food at this place. But he also has a big appetite so they both begin to eat at this place. Lu unexpectedly becomes so sentimental after eating. And he tells Sean, they were very poor in his childhood. And they used to take such a meal after stealing. He tells Sean, I had promised myself that on that day I will be the wealthiest man of this city. Sean says here, you are at fault in this matter because money is not everything. She speaks some emotional sentences. Consequently, Lu becomes so excited. Now he sings a check of $1 million for S.A. Chan. But Sean burns this check and she says to him, she does not need this check. Because money is nothing for her. She tells, E I'm along with you for this purpose, because I have affections for you. Sean begins to sing for Lu with it. Noticing it Lu and Sean's singing choices are the same so Lu also begins to sing with her. Sean begins to sing a song and her mermaid sound all of a sudden. Due to this, all glass made things are creaked. And Lu's fake mustaches are also taken off. Afterwards, Lu enjoyed it a lot. Now Lu comes to drop Sean at her house. Sean's family were ready to kill Lu. Now Sean had also started to like Lu, so she did not wish that mer people may harm Lu. Sean really wanted to rescue Lu so she was taking off her dress. So Lu may witness that she is a mermaid. But nothing was appealing visible to Lu due to the darkness. He says, moving into the house, we may see what you are wanting to show. Sean smiles here and locks the door moving into the house. Because she knew that Lu would become a target if he stepped into the house. Octopus was in fury at Sean's house. Their target had skipped from their hands. When Sean receives a call from Lu who says he wants to meet her again. Then everyone becomes so excited again and begins to sloganize Lu's death. On the second day, Sean takes Lu to a restaurant. Where Octopus is there as a chef because he didn't want to miss his target now. And he had approached here after planning as he will kill Lu here. Many bodyguards came here before he attempted to kill Lu. And their plan is spoiled here. Now Octopus had no other way except showing it that his tentacles are faked out so the rest of the chefs begin to cut his other tentacles. And he also puts his tentacles on fire to prove his lie as a truth. For this, he was feeling much pain so he was making his strangest expressions. Lu was thinking that it is part of his acting. As the things become out of control by the octopus. He escapes from there. Releasing the black liquid from his mouth. Sean says to all to handle the situation here, it is part of his acting. Lu proposes to Sean for marriage and he says, it is that unique action, which is going on in life in the best way. But Sean is not able to accept it, and she tells Lu, calling him a fool, she has come here to kill him not for another purpose. Meanwhile, Lu's business partner arrives here. Due to leaving this place. In this scene, Sean's house is again shown where Octopus was in full rage and he had also started to suspect Sean, as Sean perhaps has started to like Lu. The door is knocked during their discussion, as Sean opens the door in fury then she encounters Lu at the front. And Lu is shocked, noting her fish fin for a time. And he loses his consciousness as he casts a glance at other mermaids in the room. When Lu restores his consciousness then he glimpses those mermaids, which were injured because of his sonar. Octopus was going to kill him, but Lu requested him while weeping, give me a chance. So I may turn off those sonsers. He says, I had no idea that these sonars may be so harmful. But the octopus was not in this intention to leave him so he began to choke him with his tentacles. But Sean cuts her leader's octopus tentacle to save the life of her friend. Due to this Lou gets a chance to escape from here. Being escaped from here, Lou goes to the police station. But no one believes in the story. And they make fun of him. Disappointed from here, Lou comes back to his office and says to the doctor that he himself wants to investigate the sonar. He begins to feel much pain as the sonar is turned on. The doctors tell him here it was only 10% of sonars. And had no it knows that sonar is very harmful so he decides to take the sonars out of the water. Lou's business partner asks him, why did your plans change instantly? At the same time, he tells the whole story of mermaids to her. But that girl is not astonished, hearing it because her company was already working on mermaids. And they have been investigating the mermaids for many years. 
That girl says to Lou, their company will be at full advantage if they discover the alive mermaids. But Lou had no intention to harm mermaids so he hurriedly contacted Sean. But he decides to go to her place in the car when she does not receive his call. Before Lou reaches there, Lou's partner is there on that boat taking her men. That girl had sent many soldiers to capture mermaids. As those soldiers get in the boat then they find that boat empty. Moving underwater, they come to know that all mermaids are hidden there. And they begin their guns at the mermaids mercilessly. The water begins to turn red from its transparency as the mermaids receive the gunshots. Those mermaids move out of the water to escape from that firing. They close them into the bajas while killing them mercilessly. They are nothing but mere fish. Now Sean comes out of the water, and she falls down on the soldiers while fighting with them. But Octopus rescues him before the soldiers might harm her. And he tries to throw her out of the boat, using his tentacles. But soldiers set a trap out of the boat before Sean came out of it. So she went back into the boat. Before this, they may kill Sean, a big wave of water carries them with it. That old mermaid is seen here, which was creating the waves in the water through her giant fins. She was attacking the humans with these waves. Now a soldier attacks the mermaid from the backside, standing at a distance. Consequently, she jumps into the water, she realizes here that sonars are not working. And she orders all mermaids to move into the ocean. In this way, many mermaids have succeeded to survive. Moving into the ocean, they attack Sean. In spite of this attack, she was moving far in the water, gathering all her energy. But Lou's business partner attacks SHSN from the helicopter. Due to this, there is an explosion in the water. On the other side, Lou is seen, who was caught in traffic and he wanted to reach Sean as soon as possible. Lou's partner orders to kill Sean who was out of water here. And Lou glimpses opposition in this traffic who had been seen in a jetpack at the very start of the movie. Lou reaches there in a jetpack of his business rival like a hero before his business partner harms Sean. He tries to rescue his friend. But Lou, s business partner also attacks him. But he leaves Sean into the water in spite of an arrow shot in his body and he himself falls down there. Meanwhile, the police arrive there. Now Lou is shown at his house again while shifting this science from here. And a reporter had come there to interview Lou. Who was asking about mermaids from Lou. Lou laughs loudly and he tells him mermaids are only in the fictions exaggerated by human beings. At the same time, Sean appears there in human appearance. Lou introduces him as a journalist. At the end of the movie, Lou and Sean are seen in the ocean, where Sean was showing the beauty of underwater life to her spouse. At last, the mermaid's life was also preserved. The movie completes on this scene showing the sight.